And staying at the National Assembly on this Monday, the ruling Senate Party laid out its goals for the current session. The party leader also urged Parliament to move forward with bills aimed at creating jobs and reviving the sluggish real estate market. Our Kim Yeonji has this story. Senuri Party leader Hwang Woo-yeo told lawmakers Monday that the government and the legislature should come together to raise the nation's per capita GDP to 30,000 U.S. dollars. Saying that the nation needs a new paradigm for economic growth, Hwang stressed that President Park's vision for a creative economy, based on an individual's creativity and the convergence of industry and culture, is the answer. As such, he said the parliament should approve laws that support young people seeking to launch their own businesses. The National Assembly must set up a legislative framework enabling Korea to enter the era of the $30,000 per capita GDP and become an advanced nation where people are happy. The ruling party leader asked the minority parties not to abuse the National Assembly advancement law, which was designed to keep the majority party from ramming bills through the legislature without the participation of the minority. We must vote on bills on schedule, as the people expect. If the majority party rams a bill through on its own or the minority party opposes a bill just for the sake of opposition, public opinion will turn sour and the people will be quick to judge in elections. The ruling party leader also offered an apology for the government's scaled-down pension plan for senior citizens, seen as a retreat from one of the president's major campaign pledges. The minority parties, including the main opposition Democratic Party, criticized the ruling party leader's speech, saying that he glossed over important issues that have rattled the nation, including the spy agency's alleged meddling in last year's presidential election and questions about how the ruling party got its hands on a transcript of the 2007 inter-Korean summit before the December election. The Democratic Party will lay out its goals in a speech Tuesday. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.